Hey, I'm Charles Painter at JTEC. And what we're gonna do, we're doing uh, a removal and an install of an input shaft on this heat transmission. Uh, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is take out the cover, the cover plate here. This is on a uh, trainer that's going to be similar to uh, on your vehicle. Make it fast, we took off some of the bolts. Get your flathead screwdriver underneath this cover, pop them off. Okay, now we got to take off some slip, we got some snap rings. We've got one snap ring here, and we got this one on the bearing. We need to take both of these off. Smooth the bearing out a little bit. Get the other snap ring off. So we're going to pull this bearing out. So put the tool on. Bearing removal tool, couple pieces. All right, this makes it easy. To make this a little bit easier, I locked in the transmission on two gears so the gears won't turn. Makes this just a little bit easier. bearing pops right out now I got a spacer in here we pull the spacer out and there's another snap ring in here get in there pull this out I just got two little screwdrivers working this thing out Just like that. And there's your input shaft. So when you go to replace the input shaft and get a new one, you're gonna have the input shaft plus the bearing and all the snap rings and a gasket. So make sure you use all the pieces. Put our input shaft back in. Grab our snap ring. We gotta put it in the groove in here. This is probably the most tedious part, not so much difficult, tedious. All I'm doing is working it in. You get better at it, the more you do it. Next is our spacer. And our bearing. So if you look at this bearing, alright, we have a groove in it where that snap ring goes. The large snap ring. This prevents the bearing from seating too far into the transmission. Let's put our big snap ring on. New ones probably won't go on that easy. Okay, so now we need to seat our bearing with our bearing seating tool here. So the key to this, the key to this is not to hit too hard, just right. Because you're going to seat this all the way back to where the other snap ring is. There's an oil ring where the oil goes to sit to lubricate everything up. you got to push the bearing past it. Push the bearing in, pull it out.
got my bearing seated wrong. This is where it helps to have a mallet. Definitely know me start getting the bearings seated right. So it's going a lot smoother. So I'll try to do is just try to seat this bearing in there. Ring in that groove, so you got your oil seal, your oil ring. And this is where that snap ring is going to go is in there. You get this thing loaded up. All right, snap rings in. We're put our cover back on. One thing note on the cover is the uh, oil return. Just make sure it's lined up. Do our return hole. Not too difficult. Get some more bolts back in. And make sure if you're doing a new install, you put the gasket on before this cover. All right. So that's how we do the uninstall and reinstall of this uh, input shaft. The seat transmission. Always remember safety. Make sure always wearing eye protection and uh, gloves if you have sensitivity to any of the oils. And uh, thank you very much.